What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another one of my videos guys. My name is David. I am the Golden Gamer and today guys, today we have episode number two of our Pokemon Gold Let's Play. So if you guys are ready, let's get right into it. So, in our last episode guys, I asked you guys, who do y'all want my starter to be? And overwhelmingly, we had the same response as what I thought we would have. And we had our starter be chosen, Steve-O, the Totodile. He's level 5, he's a male, water, pure water, sorry. Uh, he's holding a berry with scratch and leer. So, we got a pretty good, solid start to this Let's Play. So, pretty good, guys. And I asked that question on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. Uh, Facebook and YouTube, actually. So, if you guys aren't following me on any of those platforms, my gamer tag is just at GoldenGamer55 on all of those. Okay, guys? So, Twitter, I usually post everything that I'm doing daily. I do two or three tweets a day. Try to. Uh, Instagram, I'm on there every day, at least. Uh, and then YouTube, I, I try and post every single day. I might have to skip a day. Uh, but for the most part, guys, I'm on here every single day posting good quality Pokemon content for you guys. So you guys let me know. I, I want a community of Pokemon playing. Pokemon loving guy, you know, boys and girls. I don't want to say just guys. Uh, so if I ca if you catch me saying it just like that, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry, this is going to go fast. Uh, I have to go through this whole little spiel with this guy. He's gonna give me the uh, oh, sorry, the heavy. Uh, he's gonna give me the the town map after we're done. But he's just gonna give me the run the run through about the Pokemon Poke Center the. Pokemon and all this good stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, if you guys are new here to the channel, welcome. My name is David. I am obviously the Gold Duck Gamer 55. Uh, and what I try and do is I try and post good quality Pokemon content for everybody. Um, if you guys want me to do something differently or do something different, let me know. Comment down below. Hey, I want you to maybe open up uh, Pokemon cards or do a top 10 of a specific uh, topic on Pokemon. Just let me know, guys. I mean, I want you guys, because I'm trying to entertain y'all. I'm trying to, you know, do things for you guys. I'm at you guys' will, as you would say. Uh, so just let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you guys are returning, y'all are already subscribed. Just want to say thank you, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys so much. Y'all have helped me out so much. Uh, you, you guys don't even know how much y'all mean to me, honestly. And we're well on our way. I mean, we're, we're we're growing every single day, it seems like. And if you guys have a lot of friends that enjoy Pokemon, share this video with them. Um, you know, I, I don't mind going reaching out to other people because, like I said, I'm trying to entertain for you guys. And if y'all have other family members, even... You know, that enjoy Pokemon, share this video with them. Uh, share any of my content with them. And uh, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to do something good in this community, guys. So, anyway, uh, uh, aside from all that, we are playing Pokemon Gold. So, this game was released in 2000. It, just 2000, honestly. Uh, on the day I'm recording it, it was 20 years to the date. So that would put me at seven years old, which I was definitely playing it, not of the day, but I was playing it on Christmas Day. I did receive it on Christmas when I was seven years old in 2000. I am 27, so obviously today is October 2020. Uh, and what a great game it is, honestly. Um, see, we're going to talk to... Uh, Mr. Pokemon, what a, what a name this guy has. And then Professor Oak, the OG of all the professors, is, is just going to come over like nonchalantly and just be like, Oh, so you're David. I'm a pro uh, Pokemon professor. <laughs> he really is like the OG. 
OG though. Like everyone looks up to him, and doesn't matter what tree professor you are. And, I mean, if you don't get what I'm saying by that, like Professor Oak, Professor Elm, Professor Bark. Oh, I'm just kidding. That Professor Bark. Uh, but there is Professor. Uh, there's another tree. They're they're all trees, guys. I mean, they're all trees. Basically. Um, Dude, that's one total a brain fart. Um, bruh. Okay, if you guys know all eight professors, comment down below. I mean, just seriously. I, I, bro. But anyway, uh, year 2020, this, this game came out. Uh, I have a sister as well. So, I got, uh, actually Pokemon Silver. And she got Pokemon Gold. And what happened was, I played through Pokemon Silver like no one's business, probably within three, four days. I don't, it didn't take me long. I just played it non-stop, 24 hours a day. And back then, guys, it was... Oh, this is going to be tough, actually. Oh, this is going to take me a minute. I'm going to speed up for just a second, guys, because... Yeah, it's going to take me Uh, when you first get a game back then in 2000, I mean, let me take y'all back to 2000 itself. Uh, internet wasn't quite what it is today. Internet was dial up speed if you were lucky, and that wasn't quite the most high speed, so you didn't really quite care to. It was actually faster to just ride your bike over walk over to a friend's house and ask them a question. Uh, so, back then, if you want to know anything, you, you just ask other people things. I'm actually quite nervous about this, because I know you have to fight your rival right here. Let's just get right into it. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I do have Anyway, but yeah, uh, I mean, the first three, four days, I played through that game so fast, and I had to wait for my sister to beat it. Let's see, what does one scratch do? Ooh, nothing. And then girl's gonna make it even less of nothing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leer her. Him? Whatever. It? <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I had to wait for my sister to finish playing that game, and we ended up switching probably a dozen times, and I, who knows, I mean that was 20 years ago guys, 20 years ago. So I, I wish I would have held on to either one of the games that me or her had, especially nowadays, I mean Pokemon has blown up in popularity, and, and for good reason, I mean it's a it's a very great game. Wonderful in all aspects. Oh, nice. Evil Learn Rage. Very nice. Very nice. Humph. Humph. Well, he's not like Gary. I mean, Gary's more like, uh, You're stupid. You know, smell you later. Uh, and then this guy's, you know, more nonchalant. Just like, hey, I, I don't like you, you know. So I actually like this rival protagonist. Is it protagonist or antagonist? I think it is. Because uh, he's against me. I like him more than Gary, actually, but that's just a personal thing. So we're gonna go up here and we are going to tell Professor Elm what happened. So, oh, and there's a police officer. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently it was a young male with long red- Oh, so it is male. Oh, you battle a trainer like that? What happened to be his name? Uh, so we're playing Pokemon uh, Gold, yeah. So we're going to name him Silver. Because that would be an appropriate name. I know a lot of people would probably name him, you know, A word, or B word, or C word, or whatever word, or whatever. You know, I, I, 
don't really care for all those, but, you know, it happens. It's Pokemon. You can... It's kind of free will. You have free will in this game. So anyway, you're going to talk to Professor Elm again. And you're going to give him the uh, mystery egg. And he's going to be like, oh my goodness, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Uh, if you know what's in the egg, then you wouldn't be like crazily like, oh my goodness, like what's going on? Uh, but anyway, he's just going to take it and he's basically going to give it to this guy that's going to talk to us right now. Just gonna give us some Pokeballs, which we're gonna need these here in a little bit. Because uh, we need to catch some Pokemon. I like Steve O, but we need we need some other moms. Uh, but yeah, Professor Elm's gonna tell us to come talk to our mom before we leave. Which is a good idea, I guess we need to. So, why don't you get this Pokemon? Where did you get that? Oh my gosh, it's Professor Elm. Oh, should we leave it on my adventure? Oh my gosh, I'll help too. And we're gonna tell her. No, I don't want you to save my money for me, Mom. I'm sorry, but I'll keep all of it. Now go on. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, guys. So, real fast, I'm going to ask y'all the question of the day I have for everyone here. This guy's going to come out of nowhere. See you a couple times. Of course you have. No, I don't want you to show me how to catch Pokemon. I don't know how to do that. Uh, if you guys don't know how to catch Pokemon, I will show you. I don't want him to show y'all. <laughs> Guy. Alright, but anyway, the question of the day, guys, is what Pokemon game did you play first? It could be Pokemon Gold, it could be Pokemon Silver, Crystal, Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, Red, Blue, Green, Blue, uh, anything like that. Just let me know, guys. I just want to know. In the comment section below, let me know. Or if it was just the most recent one, Sword and Shield, when I, I'm reporting this. Sword and Shield came out uh, about a year ago, and I played through those about the same time. And this time it probably took me about a week because now I'm having to work, all that good stuff, whatever. But you know, even still, you know, it didn't take me that long to to plow through the game because I really enjoy Pokemon and I really want to know. I, what did you play first and how'd you experience it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Just let me know, guys. In the comments below, let me know how you guys played the game. All that. Okay, guys. First Pokemon game. So, anyway. Look at this. Look at this Jigglypuff for her. I'm so excited. Oh, I want to get it. I want to get it so bad. Uh, just from the... Ugh, it put me to sleep. So we're going to be asleep for a whole minute. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, like, from the very beginning intro of the game, I, I've been so excited to get a Jigglypuff. That's why I played it in the very beginning, because I want y'all to see it. It's just... Oh, the nostalgia. Just every time I play this game, just takes me back. Oh, nice. Puts me asleep again. All right, but no matter. It's it's in the red zone, so we're gonna throw a ball now. And we're gonna catch this Jigglypuff. We're going to. Come on. Come on. There we go. Three jiggles. There we go. Sweet. All right. So Jigglypuff was added to the Pokedex. Sweet. So Jigglypuff is a balloon Pokemon. It is 12 pounds. That's a Heavy balloon. It inflates to sing a lullaby. Sing is very capitalized, because that's obviously the only attack it has, probably. It can perform longer and cause sure drowsiness in the audience. And I'm going to nickname the Jigglypuff. If you, have, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, I do nickname all of my Pokemon after you guys. Honestly, this is a Let's Play, so let us play together. Um... I have a, another person on Instagram, actually. Uh, haven't had anyone on Twitter yet, but I will probably do the next person on Twitter. Uh, but this person on Instagram is going to be Megan. So we're going to do Megan. M-E-G-H-A-N. So Megan will be our Jigglypuff. 
So if you guys aren't already following me there, go go find me guys. Go leave me a comment somewhere. And you guys might end up being one of my Pokemon. Who knows? So very nice. Megan's a female. She is level 3. Normal type only. Only has Sing. And pretty, pretty good stats. I mean, nothing too crazy in any direction. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and go down. I need to heal up Totodile. Because being asleep is not good right now. So we're going we're gonna to try to avoid everything we can. And we're going to come up here and heal real fast. Alright, so... And to answer my own question today, guys, um, I actually received both silver and I got Pokemon Red at the same exact time on Christmas morning of 2000 itself. Y2K. If you guys are old enough to remember what Y2K is, leave me a thumbs up. We survived it. And we survived, what, three more other, like, crazy times or whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, I received two amazing games. I just did a Pokemon Red Let's Play, actually. Uh, I'll leave a link to it below. Uh, go check it out. Some great nostalgia on that one as well. Uh, but also, Pokemon Silver, I played through that one first. And man, what a journey it was. It really just set me up for what I am to, now 20 years later, still be playing this game. So, some great stuff on this game, guys. Really is. So, I'm going to avoid that trainer. I know I can. This guy, I'm going to have to face him. So, this is going to be a youngster. Youngster Joey. Oh, youngster Mikey, sorry. Youngster Mikey sent out Pudi. To level two. And I'm just gonna switch train Megan for a second. I don't wanna do it too much on screen. I know you guys probably don't wanna see too much, you know, endless grinding or anything, but I want I want Megan to get some experience while she's you know out here. So Radita, we're gonna switch back into Megan. This is gonna take me a while. I don't remember what level exactly, because I think it's pound is the first thing she's gonna learn. Uh, but seeing, I mean, we're not going to be able to do, we're not going to do anything, honestly. I was going to say, we're not going to be able to do too much, we're not going to do anything without an attacking move. So, we're going to have to cross train, or switch train, I guess you could say, until that time comes. So, level four, we're going to get defense girl. Still nothing. Okay, so yeah, I guess, uh, steve is going to go to eight. And that's it, yeah. So, I was like, is there a third Pokemon? No. We got $64. So this is one of those games where it's actually going to be uh, concert. We're going to have to be conservative with the money that we make. Actually, and again, we're going to just be up here. Uh, we're going to have to be conservative because $60 for that right there. And I know we're going to have to eventually start buying more potions or Pokeballs. So we're going to have to watch the money that we're spending and making and all that. Okay, so we're gonna carry on. We called our mom already. If you didn't call your mom, she'll call you right there, like right where I was passing. Bellsprout. Uh, they were good. I can't. Because if I would have switched out, Steve O would have definitely died on that. So we need to just go ahead and run from everything. What is that? Antidote. That might come in handy. Especially not having the strongest of Pokemon and not having anything at all. Hey, hungry. I walked too far today looking for Pokemon. My feet hurt. I'm sleepy. If I were Pokemon, I'd be itch easy to catch. Zzz. It's kind of like an Easter egg right there for everybody. Bitterberry. I think that's for Selene? Or is it Paralysis? Fusion. I'm wrong all the way around. Wow. Alright, so I'm going to avoid that guy as well. We're going to come up here 
and we're going to heal. Straight up. Because... Steve-O is way too weak right now. Alright, so... Thank you, Nurse Joy. I appreciate you every time we come through here. So I think it's only in Pokemon Crystal that there is a patch of grass over here. And this isn't necessarily a Nuzlocke, per se. Uh, to where you can only catch one Pokemon per route. But I'm trying to slightly honor that, in a sense. And uh, not, not catch, you know, every single Pokemon. You know, this isn't a... Uh, Professor's Challenge. If you ever seen one of those, they're really cool. You should go check one out. Uh, they're really cool where you're trying to complete the Pokedex as you go through the game. See how fast you can complete it before the end of the game. But anyway, uh, we might... I don't know. Totodile is weak to all this. To all the Bell Sprouts in here. The Bell Sprout Tower, I guess you'd say. So yeah, we probably need to go ahead and train up Megan before we go through the first gym. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do it off screen so you guys don't have to worry about it. We're just going to come down here into the the route prior to us. And we're just going to do some grinding. And we're going to get everyone to... What level are we now? We're at 4 and 8. So let's just say 11. 4 plus 8 is 11. So we're going to get to 11 on both our Pokemon, and then we'll see what happens in the next episode, guys. So, for right now, guys, that's going to be the, the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, please leave a like. If you guys are new, uh, consider subscribing, hitting that bell for notifications so you don't, you don't miss out on any of those uh, opportunities that I you know, may post. I might throw something at y'all. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's it for today. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, guys, adios.